Hi, this is Trish. Welcome to my channel. We are going to do a garden tour for June. I did a garden tour for May and I just watched that and I'll try to link that in this video so you can see the dramatic change from May, which like it was the end of May when I did that video till now and it's probably uh, the second week of June. My eyes are watering. I'm sorry. It's like the second week of June and it is a rainy day out today, but I wanted to show you kind of what I've got going on compared to, I'm really not crying. I promise my eyes were watering. Um, I'm really excited apparently about it. <laughs> I'm crying. Um, the difference from May to June is crazy. I was looking at that video and it's just an, like, the things are growing out of out of this out of this world. I will say my roses. Um, I didn't deadhead them. I guess maybe I don't know. They we had I had really beautiful roses and then it kind of like they all just played out on me. I'll show you. So there are my roses. That is these are two knockout rose bushes here. And they, I have one maybe little bit of a rose down there. You can see I have an Abe Lincoln here and all my roses there I've left. Um, I planted in this old planter box right here a bunch of sunflowers. And they are really taking hold and doing really good over there. My other rose bush is right here. And um, let me get my camera over there. It's like I said, it's just kind of all they haven't really really just taken off or came back and I don't really I'm not a rose guru. I know that I'm supposed to probably you know deadhead these and then they'll come back so I probably need to just go do some do some little bit of pruning. My other rose bush, which is over here um, I do have a rose on this one right here. But it is turning like it's dying. And then I have one here that was gave me some very pretty roses down here. But again, it's not doing so great. It is sprinkling on me as we speak. Like I was thinking about doing a video all day today, but the rain has just been steadily coming, coming down. It's like it's raining on the weekends and then sunny during the week. Just lovely for us that have to work all the time so my strawberries are still producing although I think they're starting to slow down I'm not getting quite as much um, next year I'm for sure probably gonna get another green stock to plant more strawberries in and then I'm gonna find a permanent place for my strawberries so my strawberries are in the green stock and I think my last video I didn't have maybe the last video I showed you my strawberries but my last official garden tour I didn't have strawberries in here but um, yeah this they are giving me like pretty good size I mean that's a kind of a small one um, but for the most part that is the most successful my green stock has has done so it's, it's really doing a great job and like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one for sure next year all of those strawberries came from Baker Creek so I bought 30, 30 live, you know, the plants, the roots or whatever, and planted them. And that's what I got, um, from there. They were running a sale. Um, so hopefully they'll come back every year and all will be well. Okay. Over here. So this is my upside down tomato plant that I thought was a, um, spoon tomato, but it turns out it's a cherry. And it's kind of dying like a little bit. I'm getting quite a bit of basil still on the top here. I think that's cinnamon basil too. I need to make some teas. But I am getting some yellow. I'm getting, I think I have a spider web in there. Um, but though I've ate some of these tomatoes. They've, they've, they're actually, they're really pretty good. Um, my chamomile has died, but that right there, that tomato plant, I really thought, um, it was gonna die and look I need to stake it up it's probably gonna do really well right there my chamomile like I said I had a bunch of chamomile in that pot and then this pot over here I did harvest a little bit of my chamomile out of here but it didn't 
I don't know what happened. I think I planted them too close together and they all died. Now my cosmos and my amaranth over here. I don't know if that's amaranth. I think it's amaranth. It's beautiful. So this whole area, I got some weeds in there too, but this is all cosmos and it's just a really pretty bunch of, of cosmos growing here. Very nice. Now my potatoes are, I've harvested some. They're still a little bit small, um, but they're still growing. I think they, I've had a couple flower, but they're still, like I said, they're still a little small. I'll show you my potatoes. So there's my potato rows there. Those have all been planted there and there. And then this last row here, they're still real small because they were planted later on. But they're growing. Okay. So that's that. Now, my blueberries before this year, these are blueberries, majority, majority of these blueberry plants I've had for like four years. I moved them and planted them over here on this higher ground because I'm going to have this whole section over here be my blueberries and my berries, but it's also very heavily bird. Like, I lost a lot of my blueberries to birds. I had, a, you know, I picked probably a little bit just to snack on. <clears throat> So, but my blueberries kind of got wiped out from those mean old birds over here. So next year, I'm going to put some netting over there, make this maybe its own little area of netting to keep the birds away from them because I love blueberries. And I also got some small lemonade blueberries. <clears throat> they're lemonade something blueberries, but they're um, pink lemonade, sorry, pink lemonade blueberry, blueberries and they're really little right now. They haven't done anything this year. So hopefully by next season, they'll be better. And I'm planning on to putting more blueberries out. I still got a blueberry or two that's kind of survived the birds. Like that one. It's probably tart. Oh, yeah. And then these have kind of died down. My in-ground garden over here is doing really good. Actually, I probably got to take some of these that are growing right next to each other out so they don't overpower the other. I think I have two next to them. My squash. So here I got some squash growing. Like I said, I've got two plants right next to each other, which I don't need, so I need to get rid of one. I don't need that many to come out here and I'll probably just cut it at the root so I don't disturb the roots or whatever but I have squash here um, I have more squash there I planted I wonder if I could transplant that squash that's planted and over here because those I planted some there and they didn't come up but that one did and there and there too so I might I do some transplanting actually let's see what else I got more squash there coming up a little bit here and then I planted just some or ornamental corn right through here and then some zinnias through there and then this whole line here is all beans 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 got beans everywhere here Those are all beans there. And then more beans. Those beans go all the way down. And then I have some random tomato plants in there. I have a bunch of sunflowers and some more zinnias and more sunflowers just kind of scattered about in there because I just scattered them all over. And some marigolds, I think. But, over here, that is a pumpkin. A pumpkin there. That pumpkin didn't come up. And then I got a pumpkin there. 
So I might have to do some moving around there so I can maybe save some pumpkins. And then, let's see, whole slew of marigolds I just threw out over there. And then more over there. <laughs> Those are all sunflowers that I planted in there. Sunflowers, sunflowers. All these are sunflowers. And then that right there is my watermelon, my lone watermelon, because the other one, oh, I have one more coming up over here. I wish this thing would behave. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to move my squash, maybe try to save that plant and move it around and see, see what I can do. <clears throat> so, yeah, it has been rainy. Basically, we'll get a good day of just solid rain. And then, like, we're supposed to have, like, the rest of the week is supposed to be really sunshiny and warm. So, I guess that's okay. Just kind of bummed that it's a day. The Saturday was nice. Saturday wasn't bad. Okay, let me show you this. This is crazy. So, this is my little section here. And if you see my video that I had before, it's it's amazing how much they've grown. Like that's my sunflower. Um, those big plants there are amaranth. And then this right here is high sap. And I have some basil down there. And then of course on the outside I have my tomato plants growing. In there and then all of that right there is zinnias and tomatoes and I'm gonna have to make more they're growing make more um, cables so they can go up and I have some peppers somewhere in there as well they're so pretty And my little bed here, like, I got a sunflower growing in there. I got some more tomatoes in there. Um, I got some part or some oregano or something that's gone to seed. I just got random, random stuff that I threw in that bed, actually. Okay, so I planted all of this the other day. You know, I moved all this over. I don't know if you've seen that video. But I believe... No, this isn't the stuff. This isn't it. Yeah. I thought that was like a mint family, but it's not. Over here. Alright. My little experiment with my ladder is doing okay. My tomato plant inside the ladder is not, but my amaranth and my sunflowers, they're growing okay. Um, right there. My little fig tree is doing marvelous right there. And I'm taking all of this stuff out of here because it's all gone pretty much. Um, there's my asparagus still growing. Nothing new there. Get it weeded out a little bit. Over here, I have more cucumbers. They're doing okay. I got a kale that probably needs to come out. I have an, um Brussels sprout that I'm hoping that it's going to give me Brussels sprouts, but I'm afraid it's going to get ate up by bugs before it does. Um, and I got some sunflowers over here and some more um, tomatoes. That one's probably not going to do good. It's like double I or something that's going to be kind of funky tomato yeah this right here mm-hmm that's good so it's beautiful that's pretty much my garden tour this year so far
got everything going. I've got a trellis up my tomato plants, that's for sure. Um, but I'm very pleased with my garden. I can't wait to show you my next garden tour. Um, it's amazing how I need to get some other things in the beds and I gotta think about what they are. It's amazing to me how quickly things grow and things die out. I did pull all my pea pods out because they all died. Oh, I do have some sunflowers growing over here that have um, come flourished out. There they are. Pretty. Well, that is my garden tour. It's a rainy garden tour today, but I wanted to at least get it, get it out here and be able to show you guys um, what's going on. I was trying to get my sunflower in the, in the back there, but I'm gonna get out of this rain before I get too much rain on my camera. But thanks for watching. Um, more videos to come, I promise. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing some processing and some canning and um, food videos to come. So if you haven't subscribed, push like. Please subscribe to my channel and share until I post another video, you guys. Happy gardening. Bye.